behind the, the okay, hang on. No, no, come, come on out. <laughs> we're doing the check, let them know we're checking. Okay, you're fine. Fine? Yeah, so this, good you, morning. You need to put some makeup on your forehead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're live. Let them know that you're alive. The problem is you don't have your makeup on. Okay. <laughs> All the other guys on TV have wear makeup. All right, we're ready to go. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome everybody. Feliz Domingo por la mañana, and happy Sunday morning to you. Amen. We just want to welcome you, all of you that are joining us by audio or video. Happy Sunday morning to you, and we want to let you know, uh, God bless you and meet all your needs, and uh, we appreciate you. Amen. So praise God. Uh, the Lord has a great message always for you, so get yourself ready to receive what God has for you. Amen. He want to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct us. Amen. So we got to... Be ready for him, amen. And we gotta amen. just uh, press on with him. That's what we're gonna be talking about. Press on, child of God, amen. What's holding you back? Whatever's holding you back, let it go. Amen. And we're gonna talk about. It. We're gonna read that scripture here in a few minutes. But let go of what's holding you back. And sometimes it's family, sometimes it's friends, sometimes it's just things we gotta let go of, amen. So praise God. But anyway, I wanna encourage you to let go and let God, amen. Praise God. Last week we talked about this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. So that's what we do is when we press on, we just got to let our light shine Amen. for Jesus. Amen. Everybody else is coming out of their closets. So it's time we come out and we got to let our light out. Amen. So we got to take that little light and let it shine in this dark world. Amen. And there's all kinds of things happening. But you know what? Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen. Amen. So welcome. Welcome everybody. Amen. Get yourselves ready to receive before we continue. Grab your Bible, grab your sword, serve your God, and say it like you mean in church. Amen. Here it is. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I'm boldly confessed. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Remember, the battlefield is the mind. We got to renew it on a daily basis. And if you're not, you know, you're just going to fall back. And you're going to do things you're not supposed to. So renew your mind with the Word of God. Get in the Word. Study the Word. And meditate on the Word. Amen. So praise God. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just thank you for your precious Word today, Father. Open those ears, Lord, and grab everybody's attention that's listening or watching right now, Father God. And just bless them, Lord. Meet every yeah. need. In Jesus' name, Lord, whatever it may be, uh, spiritual, physically, Father, financially, whatever the problem may be, uh, sickness, Lord, we thank you that by Jesus Christ, they're healed, Father God. So just be open to what God has for you, amen? Praise God. Press it on, child of God, with a winning attitude. Remember, you're on a winning team. When you join God's team, you're on a winning team. So get that losing attitude out of you, amen? And you know, there's so many distractions happening right now. Everybody's thinking coronavirus. Everybody's thinking bad, mm -hmm. negative. You know, it's time to be positive. Amen. I mean, we've been hitting this quite a bit. You know, we got to be positive and be, be positive, child of God. Press on with Jesus. This is to encourage you to press onward and press upward. Amen. We're not going down. We're going up and we're pressing on with him. Amen. Mm -hmm. So he put us on a special mission. Hey, and we read, I read this to you last week, and I'm I'm gonna read it to you again. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but listen, when you feel I'm called to serve God, God doesn't look at your past. Cause we, you know, people and yourself, we just hold ourselves back because we're not good enough. So we step back or we sit down and do nothing. God's not finished with you. We're just barely getting started. So God looks at your heart, not your past. You know, so you know what? That's your spirit. Yeah. Just say, Lord, Lord, I, I failed to you. <laughs> I repent. I confess all this to you. I confess you, my Lord and Savior. If you haven't confessed them, now's the time to say, Lord, be my Lord and Savior. I need yeah. a Savior right now. Yeah. Amen. This world's not your Savior. But confess them and press on and leave the past behind. And of course, uh, open your Bibles to Philippians chapter 3 and verses uh, 13 through 14. And that's going to be our uh, one of our texts today. Amen. I might read it to you from the Amplified. Philippians what? 
Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. Oh, hallelujah. Well, let's read 12 too, because mine starts off with a high calling of God. Do you know that you have a high calling of God on you? If not, you got to see yourself the way he sees you. He sees you special. He sees you uh, a, a champion. He sees you a winner. That's why you got to see yourself the way he sees you. Not the way the world sees you. Unqualified. Not good for anything. Everything you got to go up for. You got to test and be qualified for. You know, God has already called you and qualified to you. Amen. Amen. Well, let me start in verse 12. Not as though I have already attained, either or already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend for that, that for which also I have apprehended of Christ. And here we go, brethren, that's you. You can scratch that and just put your name there. Amen. I count not myself to have already attained, but this one thing I do. This is one thing we got to do. What do we do? Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before him. And 14 says, I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Forgetting those things that are behind. That's, that means the past. Mm -hmm. You know, the enemy is always bringing your past. And this, you know, and he's going to hold that against you and hold you down as long as you allow him. Mm -hmm. Or family or friends or somebody that knows you. You know, people still see me. And they remember all the things that I did way back then, you know. And they want me to remember that and go back then. And you say, well, you know what? You're talking to the wrong person. Because that person is gone. You know, or if you want to bring my past up, you know, talk to God. Because yeah. I already gave it to God. Yeah. So you know what, enemy? If you want to bring anything against me, bring it to God. Uh -huh. Because I already gave it to Him. Yeah. If I confess it to Him, I don't have to confess it to you right. and, and I don't have to bring it up anymore all I need to do is what we're talking about today we gotta all press right. on press on press yeah. on amen yeah. let go and let God amen praise God uh the amplifier says this I do not consider brethren that I have already captured and made it my own yet one thing I do it is my one inspiration for getting those things which are behind and straining forward to of what lies ahead and verse 14 says i press towards the goal to win the supreme and heavenly prize to which god in christ jesus is calling us upward amen he's calling us upward god jesus paid the price amen and we're going to be reading as a matter of fact let's go right let, 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 let's go there right now second corinthians 5 7 5 chapter 5 verse 17 through 21 just go down I was going to do this. You know, you plan things the way they go, and then when you flow in the Spirit, it just goes different. <laughs> so you want to flow in the Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And thank you, Holy Spirit. And you know what? We follow the Word, and we follow what the Holy Spirit has for us. Amen? Yeah. So praise God. Second Corinthians chapter 5, start verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is what? A new creature. <laughs> So you're a new creature in Christ. Remember that. Amen. Because the enemy is going to bring it to your attention. And yeah. people is going to bring it to your attention. Oh, yeah. Because they remember the old you. Oh. The past one. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then it says. Old things are what? Passed away. Behold all things have become new. new. Amen. So you know. Don't let these things hold you down. It's time to press on. It's time to let go and let God. Amen. Amen. We've talked about this quite a bit. But you know, when you let go and let God, now is the time to press on. Yeah. Amen. You got to do something. We're going forward, not backwards. Amen. We're not going sideways. We're going back. We're going forward. In all things, but if verse 18 says, in all things are of God uh -huh. and have reconciled us to himself by what? By Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Yes. So if nobody ever told you, you have a ministry. What's your ministry? Reconciling people back to God. Yes. Let people know, being a witness for God. You know. Yes. So you have something to do, so you don't just sit back and do nothing. Uh -huh. You know, remember when you were lost, and somebody came to you and shared Jesus with you? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus brought somebody to you. Amen. So now Jesus is going to send you to somebody else mm. and be a witness for him, reconciling people back to him. Yes. He sacrificed his son for people, for us. So he wants us back. 
Amen. Amen. But we got to get the word out. You know how TV, paper, and all these other things, they get the word out. Uh -huh. Amen. So we got to get the word out. Bit. Amen. <laughs> they, want, they want God out of the schools. They got, got one God out of everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> they, they wouldn't even recite the uh, uh, Pledge of Allegiance. One nation under God. Mm. We're not one nation under God. Yes, we are. But we have to say it. Amen. Whether they want to hear it or not. Right. In verse 19, to wit that God has uh, was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, mm -hmm. not uh, imputing their trespasses unto them, and has recon uh, committed unto us the uh, word of reconciliation. Amen. Praise yeah. God. And verse um, 20 says, now that we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, uh, be ye reconciled to God. For he has made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Amen. Amen. So, you're also ambassador for God. Mm -hmm. You know what ambassador for God means? Mm -hmm. That means you're his mouthpiece on earth. Yes. And you're part of the body of Christ. Amen. You are the church. Yes. Amen. We assemble ourselves together here. But as a body of Christ, we go out into the world. Amen. Be that little light of God shining. Amen. Yes. Be his mouthpiece on earth. Amen. Sharing Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't hold it in you. Let it out. Everybody's coming out of their closets. Everybody's saying what they are. And, you know, they're so happy about it. And yeah. we look so miserable, you know. Mm -hmm. We got to put a smile on our face Amen. and say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. It says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. If you have joy, you don't have a frown. Yeah. Yeah. You have to put a smile on. Amen. Yeah. 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 Let go of that frown, you know. <laughs> Praise <Yeah>. God. <laughs> yeah, put it on your mask. <laughs> yeah, you put on your mask, you know, Patricia, we have order some masks that says, smile. For Jesus. <laughs> Amen. So. Winning attitude examples. You want to know what winning attitude example? Jesus Christ. Amen. The apostles. All the things they went through. And still. Winning attitudes. Amen. Apostle Paul. Being in prison all that, all that time. You know. And still. Yeah. Having a winning attitude. Amen. Prison. Yeah. He was in prison, but prison was not in him. That's it. That's Amen. It. So let's remember that. Bible heroes, all these Bible heroes we're talking about, you know, they're all pushing us on. Pressing up, you know, wanted us to press on. Yeah. Amen. So we need to also, we have a team yeah. that's pushing us, you know, and telling us, press on, press yeah. on. Amen. Bible heroes, winning attitude is available to every believer. Yes. Amen. It's available to every one of us, but you know what? You got to take it. God gave yeah. us authority, but we got to take it, the authority. And we got to use the authority. Because if you don't use the authority, it's no good. If you read the word and get it in you, and you never speak it out, it ain't going to help you none. You got to speak it out. Amen? You got to let it out. <laughs> I know some of you can let out some things. And uh, we, got, we, we can't hold it in. And I've, I've had some people tell me some things <laughs> that weren't so kind. But they let it out. You know, you got the word in you. You can't even bottle it in. You got to let it out. Amen. You got to speak it out. All things are possible to him that believes. Amen. Matthew 19, verse 26. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men, this is impossible. With God, all things are possible. So I am impossible all i am possible with god amen yeah. all things are possible with him so praise god again know that you're on a winning team yeah amen you're on god's winning team so i want to encourage you start every day with a winning attitude why start off with a negative attitude why start off losing with a losing attitude oh you know today's monday oh no you know we wait all week till the end of friday and then we say oh praise god it's friday Thank God it's Friday. That's the only time we remember God. <laughs> Give a shout of victory. Uh -huh. A rejoice and smile. And this is a new day. It says, this is the day the Lord has given us. Yeah. Rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> you want to be a good example of Christ. You know, you don't have to go walk around all sad. 
You're a child of God? Really? Wow, I couldn't tell. <laughs> Why are you laughing? People are going to question you. Why are you laughing? Because Jesus loves me. He woke me up this morning. Amen. And this is where you could be a great example. Well, you, don't you know all the bad things going on? Yeah, but a greater one is in me than the him that is in the world. Amen. Have victory. Have a winning attitude. Who have a rejoicing smile in this new day? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Instead of, uh, yeah. uh, you know, thinking about, you know, magnifying God instead of magnifying all the problems. You know, what was the coronavirus, you know? Uh, everybody walking in fear instead of walking in victory. You don't have to be that way. The greater one is in me. And I'm going to walk in victory. Yeah. Amen. Don't let things, distractions, or any of these things put fear in you. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. Yeah. He says, the just shall walk by faith, not fear. <laughs> Amen. We're going to step out in fear. Yeah, man, faith. <laughs> yeah, you're going to step out in fear without him, you will. <laughs> but we're going to step out in faith with him. Amen. Amen. No, it doesn't matter what the situation is outside. Right. It doesn't matter what's happening in the world right now. We're going to step out in faith. Amen. Amen. Because the greater one is in us. But we got to be great examples and being stirred up in him. Amen. If you have a pep in your step, Walking in faith and victory. Why? Because the greater one is in us. Amen. First John 4, 4 says, My dear children, you belong to God. So you have already defeated, overcome these false prophets. That's because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Amen. I was reading that from the easy to read version. Greater, bigger than all your problems. He's bigger than anything. Any setbacks any failures amen and the enemy is good and people are good and always reminding you of your failures uh -huh. but you know what you don't have to live there you say you're talking to the wrong person it used to be me but i'm not there anymore and i'm over that now you know you want to talk to the past you go talk to god because i have confessed it to him and i don't confess it anymore and i'm not going to confess it you know so i'm going to confess the good things amen the Bible says, I can now I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. I'm on God's winning team. And I'm on, I can do all things through him because he is with me. Amen. So it doesn't matter what comes, what circumstances are, what the situation is. <laughs> I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But you got to convince yourself. Amen. Uh -huh. You got to convince yourself. And you got to step out in faith. So praise the Lord. <laughs> if you're going to have an attitude, why not have a winning attitude? Mm -hmm. I and mean, if you go to pass on an attitude, why not pass on a winning attitude? You know what I've shared with you before, and you've read it before yourself. You can't go anywhere <laughs> with a flat tire or with a bad attitude. If you got a bad attitude, you know, don't leave the house or don't go anywhere until you get that attitude straightened out. Because you ain't no blessing to nobody. You want to be a blessing going somewhere to happen for somebody. A child of God. Amen. A shining light. <laughs> not a dim light. <laughs> <laughs> Let your light shine for God. Amen. You ain't going to be shining if you ain't happy. <laughs> you ain't going to be smiling if, if you don't have the greater one in you. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> you, you don't make the devil mad. You know, when you smile, you make him mad because he wants you to be sad. Uh -huh. People want you to be sad. Don't you know what's going on right now? You know all these problems in the world? Well, so what? The great one is in me. I'm happy. Yeah. You know, hey, he's defeated it all. And he says, what I've done, you can do. Yes. And more. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know, the Bible says the truth has set you free. Yeah. From all these mindsets, from all yeah. these things the world try to put on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just wash it off. Just let it go. So praise the Lord. If you want to have an attitude, why not have a winning attitude? And guess what? Yeah. When you have a winning attitude, it's time to press on. Yeah. And be a shining light and be a witness for God. Amen. But include yourself. Don't exclude yourself. Right. And be a participator, not a spectator. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Put your baby in the Nobody wants to lose an attitude. If you do, we just got to pray for you and get you saved. Amen. Because nobody wants a losing attitude. No, Amen. No. <laughs> Praise God. Who you, who, who you, what team are you rooting for? Well, I'm rooting for the losing team. 
No. <laughs> I'm rooting loser. I'm rooting for that losing person. No. Well, a win. You want to win, amen. God made yeah. us to win. God made it made yeah. you a winner, not a loser. <laughs> so guess what? It's still your choice. Why? Yeah. Because you have your free will. Uh-huh. You have a will. Yes, you do. And God will not violate your will. If you want to be a loser, uh, if you want to be a Christian and still be defeated or be a loser, that's up to you. Yeah. And God cannot overcome that. Or he cannot violate that. Uh -huh. you know? uh -huh. He cannot oh, uh, violate oh, your God. will because that's what you want. That's yeah. your will. Oh, Amen. It's your choice. Override. That's the word I'm looking for. Override. <laughs> Choose a winning attitude. Uh -huh. Loosen and defeating and defeat is for the enemy and anyone that wants to join him. Uh -huh. Amen. But losing defeat, that's for the enemy, not for yeah. the children of God. Amen. Right. Praise right. God. Remember, yeah. we're joint heirs with Christ, with Jesus. We're winners and overcomers. Romans 8, 17. Amen. You can mark these down if we don't visit all these, but Romans 8, 17 says, New King James, if any children, yeah. now we're children of God. So, again, I'm telling you, mark your Bible, highlight your Bible, yeah. personalize your Bible. Uh -huh. If, put your name there, there are heirs, <laughs> heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Yeah. If indeed we suffer with Him, so that we may also be glorified together. Yeah. Amen. So, praise God. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Keep putting God first on a daily yeah. basis. In all, amen, be a winner for Him. Uh -huh. Choose a winning attitude. Yeah. It's your choice. So you can do this for yourself. Amen. Yeah. God has equipped us. God has given us everything. Yeah, but it's yeah. still up to us to choose uh -huh. to be uh -huh. this way. And choose to walk in victory and not defeat. Yeah. Start daily by putting the whole armor of God and pressing on with Him. Amen. Yeah. Matter of fact, no way in the Bible says to. It says put on the armor of God. Yeah. The full armor of God or the whole armor of God. But it never says take it off. That's right. <laughs> we don't have to take it off. Just keep it on. But just know what the whole armor of God yeah. means. Amen. That helmet of salvation. And we can study that later on. Amen. Yeah. But we have the armor of God. And we're going to press on with God. Amen. Trust Him. He knows what's best for you. Yes, He does. Let His Word bless you and change you. You don't want to stay the same. That's right. <laughs> you're going to change. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you're going to change from a loser to a winner. Yeah. You're going to change from negative to positive. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, this is good. Change yeah. is good. Change is good. Change is good. Yeah. <laughs> change is good. The truth is going to set you free. Yeah. Change from being a loser to being a winner. Remember yeah. to study. Remember to meditate. Re remember to renew and obey what the Word of God. Yeah. Amen. Watch your words. Watch your actions. Yeah. We've studied these say so what's you what, what's the word of god says what are, are your say so mm -hmm. the, the world says this your say so says this mm -hmm. amen confess your positive uh, say so's what the yeah. word of god says or say uh speak faith-filled words instead mm -hmm. of negative words yeah amen and build yourself up instead of building yourself down yeah. you know uh, a lot of times nobody has to um tear you down or take you down. Oh, yeah. You can do that for yourself. Oh, yeah. If you're still thinking negative. Mm -hmm. So quit thinking negative. You know, just delete and start putting the, the word in you. Yeah. Study to show yourself approved. Yeah. Meditate on the word and renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. James 1, 122, New King James says, And be doers of the word and not uh -huh. hearers only, deceiving your own self. Yeah. So, be hearers and doers of what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. So we need to uh, submit. Yeah. Commit, submit, and press on with him. Amen. Man, this is good. Yeah, yes it is. It's easy to easy to read version says James 122. Do what God's teaching says. Don't just listen and do nothing. When you only sit and listen, oh. you are fooling yourselves. Oh, right. Man, that's 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 playing down and dirty. <laughs> That'll tell you the truth right then, you know. This is easy to read. Yeah. <laughs> do what God's teaching says. Uh -huh. Don't listen and do nothing. Uh -huh. When you only sit and listen, mm -hmm. you are fooling yourself. And yeah. a lot of people want to spectate yeah. and not participate. Uh -huh. He wants us to be hearers and doers of the word so right. we can be participators and yeah. not just spectators. 
And remember it is, we say it all the time, but make yourself available to uh -huh. him. If you don't make yourself available to him, he's not gonna use you, yeah. you know? If you're on God's team, he wants to use everybody, yeah. not just somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen, so say, hey, coach, mm -hmm. Lord, I'm, I'm here, use me, and he will. And you know, some of us have never said that, and we need to say it. I'm yes. here, Lord, I'm making myself available. He's not looking for abilities, he's looking for availabilities. Amen. And when you make yourself available, he's going to use you. Uh -huh. Amen. Do you want to be used? If not, again, we got to save you. He's got to save you. <laughs> and yeah. confess him as your Lord and Savior. Now he put you here so that you can press on and be a child of God. Yeah. And go and fulfill whatever mission he's called you to do. He's got something special for you. Yeah. I was going to talk about that. Uh -huh. the, body, the, the Bible tells us that there's many parts in the body. Uh -huh. And you're part of that body. Yeah. So whatever part you play, big or small, yeah. still you do it under Him, mm -hmm. and guess what? You're gonna come out a winner. Mm -hmm. Amen. We are winners in yes. Him. So yeah. praise God. Yeah. Woo! We talk. Yeah. We've been talking about this a whole lot here lately. But Proverbs eighteen twenty one says what? Easy to read version. The tongue can speak words that bring life or death. Uh -huh. Those who love to talk. Must be ready to accept what it brings. Oh, Are you ready? I mean, this is uh -huh. very simple to understand. Are you ready to receive what? Let me read it to you again. <laughs> Those who love to talk must be ready to accept what it brings. Uh -huh. Are you ready to receive what it brings? Because if you're speaking negative, it's going to bring negative. Yeah. And it's not going to bring it on somebody else. It's going to bring it on you because you're the one that's speaking it. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful of the words you choose. Be yeah. positive, not negative. Confess the positive, not the negative. Yeah. Because you're bringing it on yourself. Are you really ready to receive this? No, I don't want no negative stuff. I want to be positive. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, translation says, words kill. Uh -huh. Down the gutter. Words kill. Words give life. They are either poison or fruit. You choose them. Uh -huh. But it's going to come on you. Yeah. Not on somebody else. Just because right. you spoke it to somebody else doesn't mean it's going to come on them. The Bible tells us uh -huh. it's going to come on you. Yeah. Amen. So be more selective. Oh, you, <laughs> wow. Select the right words and speak. To speak. You are sowing seeds in your own garden of life. Speaking word, speaking God's words will change your life. Yeah. Amen. So we've sown some negative stuff before, Lord. <laughs> I delete all that stuff. Yeah. And from now on, confess you as my Lord and Savior. And start speaking the word of God. Confessing the word of God. Speaking the word of God. Amen. And things are going to change. Why? Because the word of God says so. Amen. If the word of God says so, it's, it's going to change. Mm -hmm. People will tell you no. But the word of God says yes. Things will change. As doers and hearers of his word, his word helps us. Mm -hmm. It is for our benefit, not God's. Yeah. Amen. He just wants you to speak the word back to him. Amen. But we have to confess it out, speak yeah. it out, not keep it in. Yeah. Amen. It's not for his benefit, it's for our benefit. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> it's gonna bless me. Yeah. We need we need we need it. Not him. Yeah. <laughs> we need it. Amen. Mm. We just gotta be obedient. Remember the spoken word does the word, not the one holding on to it. Man, you need to write that down. You need to put it somewhere where you can see it all the time. Uh -huh. The spoken word does the work, not the one holding on to it. You got to confess the word so it can work. Don't hold it, release it, confess it, sow it, speak it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Write those things down, amen? Yeah. Write those things down. It's the word that does the work. Amen? Mm -hmm. I'm blessed already. <laughs> it worked for Jesus. Guess what? It worked for you. He says, yeah. the truth is going to set you free. Yeah. Amen. The truth is going to set you free. I'll say it again so you can write it. The spoken word does the work. Not the one holding on to it. So confess the word. So he can do the work. He, Jesus, uh, Lord, well, God says, you know, the words that I speak, they go out and accomplish what I set them out to do. Amen. So guess what? The spoken word is still the same. His word never changes. 
His word goes out and does what it has to do. Yes. But you got to be positive. Amen? Amen. So confess the word. Don't hold it. Release it. Confess it. Sow it. Speak it. Yes. You know, words are containers. Yes. Words are seeds. Mm -hmm. But you have to sow it for it to grow. And it's going to grow in, in your life, darling. Amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. His word and his ways is the best for us. So it pays to obey. <laughs> it pays to obey his word. Amen. Ooh, dang, I'm really, somebody really needs this. <laughs> Some people don't have a winning attitude. Why? Because they are not hearers and doers of the word. They don't control the tongue or the words they say. And you blame somebody else. And you blame God. And you blame somebody else. But it's really you that's releasing those words. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you don't control. <laughs> guard your tongue. Guard your words. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't speak them. It says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the words <coughs> you release. Mm -hmm. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Positive or negative. Commit to change and continue to press with him. You know, some of us never want to change because... We want to impress those around us. Oh, Some of us don't want to change because, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm too much of a macho to try to change now. You know, uh, uh, I, I like the little crowd I, I attract, you know. Yeah. But you know what? Little is right. <laughs> little is right. But you're attracting the wrong enemy, too. Yeah. Satan says, yeah. John 10, 10, he says, I come. Enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That's it. Amen. All these things are going to happen. Mm -hmm. But Jesus says, I've come that you might have life and life more abundantly Amen. and life more freely <laughs> if you only obey. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So God's instruction book, the manual for life is the Holy Bible. Mm -hmm. Bible instruction. Bible is the Bible uh, basic instruction before leaving earth. Oh. Amen. Will extend your life if I choose to read and obey what it tells me. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's guaranteed you so much. But still, we can press on be beyond that yeah. if we only be obedient. Yeah. Submitted, committed, obedient. Yeah. Amen. Ooh, man. So if you want a winning attitude, read and obey. Yeah. What his word says, change your say-sos or yeah. change your words. Uh-huh. This is so important. Somebody's really getting it. Change your words. Yes. You know, if it ain't blessing you, it's cursing you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. So be positive and not negative. Amen. Well, I just have to give you a piece of my mind. Oh, boy. Nobody needs it. Mm. You know, if you want to give it to anybody, you give it to God. Confess it to Him and not somebody else. Yeah. Many believers have been conditioned to believe that winning is not for them so you got to be careful we hear this all the time careful who you get advice to careful who you uh vent yourself to oh yeah careful who you hang out with mm -hmm. careful what you hear mm -hmm. <laughs> look out for um I say jealous people or look out for dream busters no, vision busters yes <laughs> Uh, trying to forget a word. Happy happiness <laughs> busters. Happy just want joy busters. Joy busters. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful for joy busters. You know, because mm -hmm. you know if they if they if they don't have a happy life, a joyful life, they want to make yours miserable. Oh no, yeah. If you let them, and yeah. a lot of us do. Mm. And you got to be careful not to join that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I told you this so many times. I asked the Lord to help me, Lord, with my enemies. And uh, uh -huh. I started losing lots of friends. Mm -hmm. If the Lord takes friends from you, don't go back and get them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let them go. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to bring new people around you that's going to help you, support you, and be there for you. A yeah. friend is going to be there for you uh -huh. when things are not so good, <laughs> when things are bad, when, when you need prayer. Amen. When you need encouragement, they're going to be there for you when things are not looking so good. Amen. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Many are convinced that having a winning attitude is unimportant. 
So wrong. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's a lie from the pit of hell. That's a lie from your enemy. He comes to what? Steal, kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. So, give no place to him. Yeah. You know, when he's knocking, don't open the door. Yes, yes. Bible says Jesus knocks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't open the door either. Yes, yes. So, it, you can tell the difference. Uh -huh. You know, if the door is knocking, it says, hey, go kill somebody. You know, that's not Jesus. <laughs> or go do something bad. That's not Jesus. No. But if he says, go help somebody. Mm -hmm. Go speak, share something with, with this person. Or do something nice, you know. Mm -hmm. You know he's knocking and he wants to come in. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And be 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 a witness for him, amen. amen. Be that mouthpiece, the gov, the uh, ambassador. Amen. Other enemies out there, illusion and average. Uh, I'll just go through these few, and uh, and then we'll close, amen. Yeah. But uh, we've uh, shared quite a bit already. Other enemies out there, illusion and mm -hmm. average. Many believers settle for losing or an average life, mm. amen. God wants us to launch us. Off, and you can write this down from the bottom, or say losing, mm -hmm. past the middle of average to the top to be a winner. He says, we talked about this a few weeks back, but those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. Soar with eagles. You know, we soar with him. You know, hey, we're flying high with Jesus. Yeah. Amen. But we got to get that attitude. We got to get that winning attitude. God made you and original, don't yeah. copy the world. Don't copy somebody else. That's and don't right. try to be like somebody else. If you try to be like somebody else, mm -hmm. Bible says, be imitators of Christ. Amen. Amen. But he made you an original. He made you the way he wants you. So be yourself. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and just be a that little sign in life for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't copy or settle for less. That's if good. you settle for anything else, it's going to be less than what he's made you to be. Yeah. He makes you to be a winner yeah. and not a loser. Amen. Yeah. So he wants to see you atop, soaring like an eagle, not scratching with the chickens yes, or wallowing with the pigs. Praise so God. choose to obey and choose to be different. We'll Amen. Stop right there. Amen. Yeah. So praise God, you know, we'll give you an opportunity. Those of you that are listening and watching, if you've never accepted Christ, this is a time where you just say, <laughs> Lord, I failed to you. Lord, I repent. Mm -hmm. I've sinned against you. I yeah. confess you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. I want this day, from this day on, for you to be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And I want to be there for you. Amen. And fulfill what you have called me to be. Amen. And he will. And he'll show you. And he loves you. Yeah. God loves you so much, he sacrificed yeah. his son. Yeah. But you know, just get away from that losing yeah. attitude. Get away from... Uh, this losing world, you know, and yeah. press on with Him. Confess Him as your Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank so you, praise Lord. God. Whatever you're going through, whatever problems you're going through, yeah. just confess it to Him. Amen. <laughs> Lord, I need your touch right now. Yeah. I need a healing touch from God right yeah. now. Whatever doctors may have said to you or whatever you're going through, Lord, just touch their bodies, Lord. Thank you that by Jesus Christ they heal from the crown of the head to the soles of their feet. Touch them right now and meet those needs, Father God. Mm -hmm. Financial problems, Father, <laughs> nothing is impossible with Him. Amen. All things are possible. Yes. So you need that financial touch. <laughs> Lord bless them. Amen. Meet their needs, Father. Yes. He says He'll supply all of your needs. Amen. So uh -huh. praise God. Bless you. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> We're going to. Uh, Right before uh, we go, I just want to give you this uh, time of giving instructions here. Uh, no, they're not on the screen, but anyway. Uh, NBCBigBen.com. <laughs> you got a donate button on there. Just hit that. If you're mailing it to us, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And again, we want to say thank you yeah. and God bless you. Amen. Have a blessed yeah. day.